Okay. And we are back with another episode of Scratch Gamers. I should give you a hint. Yep, this is not your weekly roundup, not your movie review, not your book review. This is a new segment we like to call Socratic Dialogue. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we were going through different... Yeah, we're, we're going through a little changes. We figured out a new way. If you watched the last episode, um, the intro told you that we figured out a more efficient way to run these podcasts. So, like, prior to this, I would just, like, take the file, render the file. So much work. Yeah, add a bunch of stuff. Re-upload it, yeah. export it as audio. And, like, and there's if, so many steps. And if the, yeah, if things go wrong. Like, what was this? the issue with the other one was too long, so it was like it was longer. like five gigs. It's too long like, of a process. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. So uh, we figured out a more well, Vish figured out a more effective way to get this get this job done. So uh, you're gonna see a few changes, and the first change will be this one, which is mm-hmm. our yeah. Socratic dialogue. So basically. Instead of talking about four things like weekly roundup, we just choose one thing that we are super interested in at that moment, and we just talk about it. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, in case you didn't know, we're gonna talk about Game of Thrones. Yeah. <laughs> what better way to bring uh, Socrat- Socratic dialogue to life than with the greatest show of all time? Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah. It yeah. Is. yeah. Um, mm-hmm. So. We're not going to talk about the whole show. We're just going to talk about the first two episodes because they're the most like salient in our minds. And depending on when we release this episode, um, I guess the third one will be out. Yeah. But we could always do a Socratic dialogue on that one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so what do you think, Vish? First and second episode. First and second episode. I thought they were... Let, oh, wait. Let's talk about in- independently. Okay. We'll talk about right, first episode, episode one first. Yeah. All right, all right. Go, go. Um, I think it was uh, great to see them all again after uh, more than a year. <laughs> True. Yeah. These characters, I mean, uh, and um, like to see the some of them in, who never met each other for you know like how many seasons ago, right? True. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we'll work together technically. Well, technically, yeah, but it's like uh, to see even them cross paths or meet each other, you know, like. Yeah. True. Like, so you're talking specifically about. Uh, so in the first one, uh, mainly, I think it's like the Arya meeting. He, she met the Hound, right? Was that in the first? Uh, was it in the first? No, second episode. Was it? Maybe. I think they did have a little encounter. Yeah, when she was in the, um, when she went to give uh, Gendry, like her. Oh right, thing. yeah, yeah, I remember, I remember, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. true. So it was like, like, because he left her to die how many, how many, so many seasons ago. Yeah. So it was interesting to see them, their encounter mm-hmm. for a sh- short while. Because there was a lot of different characters. So it was like, it wasn't, um, uh, like they, they, like, since we're only talking about the first one, but it did kind of like expand into the second one too, because it was, there's so many different characters. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, the other thing that popped out to me in the first one was, how reminiscent it was to episode one. True. Okay. I don't yeah. know if you caught that. No, I, I didn't catch that. No. Because I. For the record, you're more of a Game of Thrones fan than I am. <laughs> so. Right. Uh, that's probably why I didn't catch that. Maybe. Like uh, the, the reason why when, like when everyone is coming into. Uh, Winterfell, like that was. If you remember, I can talk back a little bit about it. Like the first episode when um, Bran likes to climb, right? And he was the one that climbed up to the tower, and he's the one that like saw as um, uh, Jamie and um, Cersei. Cersei, no, 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 not that tower. That was at the end of it. Like in the beginning, he was also climbing. Like that's when we knew that he was like a he likes to do those sort of things as a kid. Oh, cool, yeah. And then he saw as the the king was coming in to Winterfell. Oh, and then they showed the and little then, kid And then they showed climbing. the kid in the beginning right. climbing up the tree to see a better vantage point of True. Yeah, this yeah, yeah. whole army of people. This is more people now than... That's funny. I didn't catch that from the... I was like, why is this kid climbing? Why are we focusing on this kid? Who is this kid? Right, yeah. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I think it was it was all about reminiscent. But again, this is so many years ago that... I, like, only if you've been... 
or if you've rewatched all of it to get ready for this one, right. like my brother did, so then you would actually see those similarities. Right, 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 right. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I don't know what else um, did you think of it? I thought it was I thought it was pretty good. It was nice to be back in that world. So mm-hmm. for me, it wasn't really like nostalgia. I guess from like the first episode it was just nostalgia in general because it's been so long since that show's come about. Yeah, um, I really liked Tyrion Lannister. He's yeah. like my favorite character. Um, <laughs> okay. Yeah, he was cool. And then was that in the first episode or the second one where Jamie shows up? Uh, he shows up at the end of the first episode, and then they're like trying and then to that, figure out. Uh, continues on in the second episode uh, with grilling him as to why. Oh, okay, okay. So that's yeah. what I want to talk about. So, um, yeah, first episode was alright. It was a cool, like little intro into it. Mm-hmm. Uh, second episode, I actually really liked because it was very human. Like a lot of things happened right. in that episode. Yeah, actually, a lot of things happened in that episode. Like a uh, big controversy, not controversy, I guess. Because she's like she's old now, but. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what <laughs> the 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 chick? Um, what's her name? Arya Stark. Okay. Her little uh, love making scene there. Oh, that one. Actually, yeah, yeah. Uh, was that first? Ep- no, second. Episode. That was second episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you want to talk about that? I'm just saying it was like it was a prominent point. You were like, oh, all right. I, sure. it, actually, we're no, that, that point uh, right now. So yeah. So again, we're not. So yes, it that was one thing I felt weird because you grew up with her. Like, when she was really young. So, was, I think a lot of people felt weirded out by it. Yeah. I saw her, like, little comment, um, my family watched it. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, you yeah, think, yeah, yeah. Yeah, whatever. If you think... Um, I'm still calling that a CGI or a body double. It wasn't a body double. Oh, it was not a body it double? It was not a body double. I was going to tell you that, yeah. Say word. Yeah, no, it wasn't. Oh, God. It was all her and... Um, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was... <laughs> wow. That's because that was going around too. The same thing that you were saying, like oh, it's body double or something. And then uh, it was, it came out like it was not. Wow. Okay. And, then. and it was uh, up to her to how much she wanted to show, actually. Wow. Yeah. So the writer, the the creators were like, it's up to you. You don't have to show anything or, uh, like however how much ever you want to do. And then she. Wow. Like, this was All right. <laughs> that's uh, that's a total perspective change on my part. <laughs> I was like, oh, I guess it's not that bad. It's probably just a body double. Now it's a little weird. Yeah, that's a little weird. <laughs> Anyways. So that's what makes more sense when she said it on the thing. Yeah. <laughs> and I guess the other big controversy is uh, Jon Snow told, when the first episode, Jon Being Snow told, yeah. was told, and then yeah. Jon Snow told. Um, uh, tells, yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, what was her name? You'd think we we're bigger fans. We could remember their names at least. Well, <laughs> I, well I know. Jacaris lady. Daenerys. Daenerys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whatever. She's Jakaris. <laughs> but yeah, so um, that was kind of cool that he had, he finally told her. Yeah. So everything's becoming like unveiled. Right. So no Yeah, that, I think I think they had to do that in the first two episodes. I think some people felt in the second episode it was again more re- reuniting. Like Yeah, yeah for sure. It was, yeah. But it was like it's I think you need this. You need both of these episodes like this because now the next three are like longer episodes and right, now right, that right. The third one is now the actual start of that war, so yeah, that'll be. An I think we need one. to yeah get yeah. more of these characters because I think possibly a lot of them will be dying off. Oh man, that'd be crazy to right. see. My my favorite part of the the second episode was when um, Brienne. Yeah. Yeah, she got. Um, oh, that knighted. knighted? Yes. Yeah, that was a sick scene. <laughs> like the she got misty eyed, and I was like, damn. I got I got a little bit. Uh, she like finally got her way. My She's probably gonna die. Up, yeah. All right, so like, I think that's what that what's yeah. about. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I think they gave her a good send off, and then she's going to die in this episode. I, I expect lots of deaths. We're gonna watch it tonight. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be an interesting one. It'll be super interesting. I'm excited. Um, I thought it was uh, like uh, with the Jamie entering was. There's only, only six episodes, right? Uh, yes. So this will be the third. We're halfway through. Yeah. Um, yeah. After the third okay. one, it's halfway through. Yeah. Uh, what I like really was um, like when Jamie came at the end of the um, first episode. Yeah. And him, his actual first meeting up since that first episode of Game of Thrones. Mm. Him having eye to eye to with the with the kid with with Brandon Stark. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Which was uh, like a, I like the 
the quick pan to him as he like a little bit shocked or like oh shoot yeah, that's, yeah for like, sure seeing him for the first time and then uh, or for the yeah for the first time since then and then as it in going into the second episode you forgot that um how much he's actually been involved or what he's like what he did was actually affected Daenerys's life basically which was killing the Mad King, and then oh, they had to right. flee. So that was something I, I forgot. Like, you know, but you f- again, it was like bringing back to that, oh, right, that's what happened. Oh, and she never encountered him until the season. Yes, that's right. Man, that's crazy. But we've been seeing him the whole time. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And then, yeah, and then we know, like, he, like his transition from where he was, where everyone hated him, yeah, yeah, yeah. to now how much everyone likes him. Yeah, that that this is what he's. This but is what she doesn't know that though. She doesn't know that what what we no yes she doesn't know what we know exactly. Uh, but uh, who knows that would be um, the who uh, vouched for him, uh, Brienne. Yeah, 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 which was kind of cool. Yeah, that was, that's Let's pretty see. sick. Yeah, um, I was gonna say that the reason why this show is so impressively good is because it reminds me of those like multiple life. Um, Shows, Mm -hmm. a movie, sorry, movies, yeah, like Crash, um, yeah, okay, that's another good one. Oh, you mean like like, Babylon, okay, the you know what I'm saying, like where there's yeah, 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 there's there's like like, multiple stories going on, and then they intersect, yeah, yeah, that's probably why this, like, why is this show so good? I think it's that, yeah, I think it's these, there were so many characters that we could, and you could latch onto one of them, yeah, yeah, I think, mm -hmm. I think the, the, um, finality like no not the finality the randomness of people's deaths is what makes this show so appealing yeah i think it's because they had uh like so many characters that they could do that yeah yeah yeah. like so many characters that you actually like like fell in love with kind of thing yeah yeah and then they could actually pull pull on those heartstrings of yours and take them out (laughs) yeah yeah and that was what uh what worked like there's a lot of like like hmm there's a lot of shows that have a lot of characters, but if they're not, if they don't have good story behind them, it just becomes um, like too convoluted of a story, and then you yeah. you you get lost in it. Yeah, yeah, you're saying right. So it's really hard. Like it's really interesting how they they've done it in Game of Thrones. Mm-hmm. That um, that I think that's what that's why I liked it a lot. That there was so many characters that I ended up liking, and then they would easily take them away from you and then i remember like when like the biggest ones were like when when the whole like the stark family killed off in that red wedding and like how everyone's like oh i can't watch this again because they like they <laughs> right yeah, yeah but then people will always come back because it's there's there's someone else you ended up liking like daenerys all the way till now or, right yeah so who do you think's gonna die in the next one yeah <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I, I think Brienne. It's it's what it seems like. I'm gonna say Jamie. Uh, Jamie could so that Tormund can get with um, Brienne. <laughs> no, Brienne's gonna die. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and so, Jamie. Yeah. So both of them and will Jamie, die together. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't know who else. Um, and another thing was in that crypt. I was wondering because they can raise people from the dead, and they're all hiding out in the crypt. Is there bodies in the crypt? Is that what I'm thinking? And bodies? What do you mean bodies? Uh, like the burials. Maybe I don't know. Then, wouldn't that be the unsafe place to be? Oh, true. <laughs> true. Yeah, yeah. I so I'm wondering if if something is gonna happen with that or not. Like, how long does a body have to be decomposing? Decomposing. Yeah, 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 I get what you're saying. <laughs> uh, do you think? Do you think Cersei is going to? change her mind and like show up at the last minute no 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 she's not gonna change her mind uh i i think that they're uh like the the story is still with like like i think that just they just have to get rid of the night king i don't know how this is gonna work like because i don't think the night king is the main thing i think it's still the the people that are involved making oh so you think yo wouldn't it be crazy if they die and then they kill the night king in this episode (laughs) and then we're all like what are you gonna do for the last three episodes then right what if the night king dies in this episode bro uh it's 80 minutes long wouldn't that be nuts because they're like (laughs) all we have to do is just kill the night king and then everyone else is dead that's what they said right john said yeah so imagine if 
we're all hyping ourselves up for this giant war. It ends in this one episode. Where do you take the show from here? Well, now it goes back to Cersei. Now, now it's the. But then again, it could be a bait and switch. Mm-hmm. Think about it, because yeah, like yeah. they could be making us all overly. Fo- it's like a magic trick. You're yeah. overly focusing your attention on the Night King, and then boom, all of a sudden. Yeah, yeah, they're still hiding away. Like there was in the second episode, there was no Cersei at all, right? Yeah. Oh, I'm excited now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, me too. So does this show beat? Um, does this show beat Battlestar for you? Of course, yeah. Oh, okay. So this is your favorite show of all time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I'd have to say, aside from anime, yeah, this is definitely my favorite show, like human portrayed show of yeah. all time. I, I remember like when I first showed it to you and you were like... Uh, you sold me on it being not magical. Yeah, I know, but it and wasn't I was like, though. I was like, <laughs> okay, it's not magical, whatever. But then the thing I like, the reason why I like the show personally is like it yeah. gives you so many lessons on like economics. Oh yeah. And like governance. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I guess character, like moral character, but uh, that's why I look to anime and stuff for moral character. But right. in terms of like how to strategize and stuff like because they always say like business is like war right yeah so when i watch these kinds of shows they're like Mm -hmm. it's very like mm, enlightening for me Mm -hmm. educational not enlightening yeah yeah right because then you're like oh like that's a pretty like when when they do those like twists and then somebody else is behind something you know you know the biggest uh shocker for me was when you find out that uh, Littlefinger was the one who orchestrated everything. He's the one who set everything in motion. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like... Well, yes. Yeah, yeah. That was, that was true. Because yeah. it's like you never thought about that. But yeah. It's like, like, why did this all begin? It's like, yeah, Littlefinger because he was jealous of friggin' Ned. Yeah. And boom, now we're here. It's, it's sort of like that yeah. topic we talked about um, for the weekly round of fractals. Yeah. You know, it's just like... Like, where did it all start? Or, yeah. 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 I thought it was... Uh, trying to think of it. Is there anything else that popped out to me? Um, I think what's... Uh, like, outside of the episodes that we we were watching these um, behind-the-scenes things. And, oh, yeah. Um, that's, I love that they do that. That's really cool. I think they're doing that especially for this season since it's the last one. And right. they have each one. It's about 20 minutes long. I think people should check it out. It's really good. Mm. Um just how they film these things are really amazing, I gotta say. For sure, yeah. <laughs> and where they're, like, like, there's a lot of money involved, especially, like, going to actual locations and, do, and doing these things. And I think it's actually paying out for them because this, this, they've been breaking records. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, so it's, it's, it's really, really good to see it have a huge success like this. Yeah. yeah. I thought. I, I don't know where it, like. Uh, Are you going to be a spinoff? I think so. Uh, I, I think that they are doing already. I think they're already working on one. Well, one of my personal, the thing I like about anime, like like short running animes, like twenty four episodes, is like like Cowboy Bebop, yeah. Samurai Champloo, uh, they're all like finite, you know, like uh, Kenshin. But I haven't finished Kenshin because there's like <laughs> so many episodes for that one. Okay. But you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. it it's like I don't like derivatives. Mm-hmm. You should just stick to the one story, finish up. We're all good, you know. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know what the I think the rumors were like they would uh, focus on that first war the Mad King. M- uh, more about him maybe I don't uh, I don't I don't know I don't remember what they were what they finalized on. I uh, uh, they might again uh, they might not do well and they might cancel it but which uh, would be kind of a shame. It's I, like I, it's yeah. like one of those UFC fighters yeah. that's like amazing and then they like start declining. Yeah. You know right. you should stop when you're on top. Uh, well, I mean, this is where does HBO go from here, right? This is it's their true. biggest show ever. Um, yeah, where do they go from here? It is their biggest show ever. So that's that's a. Uh, I'm wondering where that where that where they go. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I guess <laughs> we'll only find out when the season is done. Can you believe that this this show lasted? How many years has it been going? Twelve years. Uh, almost nine or ten years, I think. Nine or ten years. Yeah. A long time. Yeah, that's crazy. Crazy to think about. And then, I mean, we saw all of them grow up. <laughs> Basically, yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. And some of them, it was their first ever show. 
yeah acting career and i think it's also really cool that so like those two got married like kit kip john, john snow yeah, yeah, yeah. And, like, <laughs> yeah. The, so like they were like lovers in the show and then they got married that was kind of cool yeah like yeah, that's that. true yeah yeah all right so episode you have any final final thoughts on this episode predictions i think we kind of add that already like who's gonna die but yeah, uh, yeah but like what do you think like what what do you think i don't know be? i really don't like uh think be i think i think solely on the war <sighs> for all 80 minutes yeah i don't know i don't i think that's a lot that is a lot. That's a lot to do, you, especially but if you if you split up. Like I couldn't see them spending the war for the next four episodes. Four episodes, five episodes. No, yeah, it's four, four episodes. Four yeah, episodes. last four episodes. I couldn't see them spending four episodes on a war. People get bored. No, no, I don't. No. Yeah, I don't know. I like for a show like this. I like to just be surprised. I de- like you know what I mean. Like I can have like simple ideas like. Oh, I think, but I, right. I generally just want to be, let, 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 like, let them take me on this ride. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't like that, so I'm just going to guess. You can guess. All right, so it's going to be <laughs> a two-episode war. Okay. <laughs> and two people are going to die in this episode, Jamie and uh, Brianne. <laughs> and then the next episode, one person's going to die. Okay. The war is going to end. <laughs> All right. They're going to well, kill the Night King, and then now it's about Cersei for the last two episodes. Okay. Yeah. Right. I'm calling that. <laughs> All right. So um, that is the end of our first Socratic dialogue. Um, expect more episodes, different versions, different thoughts and ideas. So until next time, take it easy. Peace.